In this video, we are going to discover how a fairy tale differs from other genres that you have read. Some people think that the terms fairy tale, myth, legend, and fable are all interchangeable. However, they are each their own specific genre with special characteristics. In this lesson, we are going to focus on fairy tales. The main characteristics of a folk or fairy tale are it takes place in a magical fantasy land setting. It has a timeless quality to it. It includes magic like enchantments and wishes. They might include impossible tasks sometimes related to the number three. And a fairy tale folktale might also include jealous family members like stepmothers and stepsisters. As I said, Fairy tales take place in a magical fantasy land setting. In these stories, we meet witches and queens, giants and elves, princes, dragons, talking animals, ogres, princesses, and yes, sometimes even fairies. In the previous lesson, you read several legends. Legends are set in time. However, fairy tales are timeless. The setting is easily transferred to any time due to the magic and fantasy involved. The lessons taught within fairy tales are also timeless, including love and kindness. Fairy and folk tales have been called symbols of emotional fantasy and wish fulfillment. Witches, giants, and fairy godmothers are common characters, while enchantments, wishes, and impossible tasks, usually, usually related to the number three, are everywhere. Marvelous and magical things happen to characters in fairy tales. A boy may become a bird. A princess may sleep for a hundred years. A seal may become a girl. Objects, too, can be enchanted. Mirrors talk, pumpkins become carriages, and a lamp may be home to a genie. Folk slash fairy tales include Jack and the Beanstalk, Snow White, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and Beauty and the Beast, as well as many, many, many Disney movies. Two of the most famous collections of fairy tales are those from the authors The Brothers Grimm and also Hans Christian Andersen. The oldest fairy tales were told and retold for generations before they were written down. French fairy tales were the first to be collected and written down, but now we can read fairy tales from almost any culture. When these stories were studied together, something amazing was discovered. From countries as distant and different as Egypt and Iceland, similar fairy tales are told. Both Egypt and Iceland have Cinderella stories, as do China, England, Korea, Siberia, France, and Vietnam, and the list doesn't stop there. There may be a thousand versions of the Cinderella story, each with a unique telling that carries cultural information about the time and the place in which the story was first told. One thing is for sure. People everywhere like stories in which truth prevails over deception, generosity is ultimately rewarded, hard work overcomes obstacles, and love, mercy, and kindness are the greatest powers of all. And who doesn't like to pretend that they too will someday live in a gorgeous castle like this?